Meg sobs as IRS asked her to pay back $450,000 for Invictus Games. She charged it for clothes. Invictus Games had previously ended all ties with the Sussexes after he was accused of embezzling funds to buy clothes for Megan. Recently, the IRS has confirmed and reported that the Sussex family embezzled $540,000. The organization has requested a full refund from the Sussex home. Veterans Charity left baffled by a decision to stop preparing ex-service personnel for the Duke of Sussex's sporting contest. A charity row has erupted after the Ministry of Defense scrapped Help for Heroes' long-standing association with the Invictus Games. The Veterans Charity has been involved with the competition for wounded ex-service personnel since it was founded by the Duke of Sussex in 2014. Help for Heroes had led the training, selection, and development of the UK team along with the Royal British Legion, but now the Ministry of Defence has decided to make RBL solely responsible for the veterans' involvement in the Invictus Games. The decision was made before last month's contest at The Hague in the Netherlands, which was attended by the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex, but the announcement was delayed until now to avoid overshadowing the Games. It came after Help for Heroes' relationship with the MOD was criticized in a 2012 BBC Newsnight report, which claimed that the charity had used funds to subsidize expensive MOD buildings rather than for soldiers' everyday care. A subsequent investigation by the BBC's Editorial Complaints Unit upheld the charity's complaint about the program and concluded that there was no evidence to back Newsnight's claim about Help for Heroes. Help for Heroes is incredibly proud to have trained, supported, and delivered Team UK for the past five Invictus Games. However, following extensive discussions, it has been decided by the MOD that the Royal British Legion will lead the end-to-end -end delivery of Team UK to the Invictus Games for the next five years and will also be the main funder of the program. Unfortunately, therefore, we will no longer be directly involved in Invictus Team UK. She added, We want to emphasize that this was not a decision we made ourselves. We know the games continue to play a unique role in shining a light on the abilities of wounded veterans. The MOD considered proposals from the Invictus UK partnership and have chosen this route moving forward. Our focus now is on helping more people across the UK, within their communities, as part of keeping our promise to be here for wounded veterans for as long as they need us. Of course, we will continue to cheer Team UK on and look forward to seeing what the Invictus Games achieves in the future. An insider confirmed that the charity, first launched in 2007, had been left baffled by the decision. An MOD spokesman said the Royal British Legion was able to offer secure funding, more personnel to support the team, and a commitment to supporting Team UK into the future. We therefore felt this would be the best choice for Team UK. Our priority is always to ensure Team UK and our wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and veterans get the best experience. We remain enormously grateful for all the work Help for Heroes has done to take Team UK to the Invictus Games and continue to work with them to support the armed forces community. Prince Harry made an unannounced appearance at the Department of Defense's Warrior Games Challenge in San Diego on Monday, 10 years after his first visit to the event inspired him to create the Invictus Games. The Warrior Games were founded in 2010 to provide a platform to celebrate the mental and physical achievements of wounded veterans. In 2023, the format for the event was adapted to the Warrior Games Challenge, which aims to expand its efforts to expose injured veterans to competitive sports. Ex-servicemen and women from the U.S. Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, and U.S. Special Operations Command compete in the games throughout a range of sporting activities with awards presented to the winning teams.